Hi folks, this is a brief overview of the AOSP Jelly Bean 4.2.1 ROM built by Super Nexus 2.0. Uh, build number one. Why am I featuring this ROM? Because this is the first ROM I actually installed in my Galaxy S3 in August when it was the first ROM to launch 4.1 Jelly Bean. As you can read, it's 4.2.1 latest CM kernel, no visual changes, top field, conversion with Nexus 4 and this is the feature which he is giving he is claiming uh, the main thing why I am doing this ROM is uh, this developer's name is Farid he said to be 16 year old I have to say hats off to him for being a developer at the age of 16 it's really really nice of him to build this ROM you have to download this ROM in two parts one is a 160 MB file other one is a 90 MB Google app file this is the developer it seems so Farid so to be 16 year old teenager, hats off to him. See, I'm a 16 year old teen, I'm 27 and what do I do? I just install other people's ROM and do a brief overview of it. Anyhow, back to my phone. So, this is how it looks, the stock JDB. This is the lock screen, swipe to the right. Sorry, swipe to the left. Click on this plus button and you can see the lock screen widgets. It's from standard, calendar, digital clock, gmail, messaging and Place for search. Yep. Okay, and again, one more time. You can swipe to the right, right to unlock or swipe from right to left. You go to the camera module. Uh, it's a standard camera except for you don't have the option of uh, photosphere. Not that I miss it, but it's kind of strange. Like, as I said in the earlier ROM, it's 4.1. If you go in, under 4.1, you can install it, but in this one, I don't know why. I get photo. Go to gallery, swipe up, swipe down to delete. Not going much into it. And yeah, I just want to check the camera. Another bug to come is the front facing camera will always show lesser than what it is exactly. So, to the front facing camera, boom, there's a slight lag over here. Click on it 1.3 megapixels. Hmm. Then, click on here, you go to the video. Video. No options in that one. Switch the camera or the back facing camera over here, and then you get HD 480p video. Okay, now back to the home screen. Standard Google swipe one, swipe it one finger, you get one notification. Click on this button, you go to this. Oops, sorry, swipe on one, you go to this. Click on this point over here, you go to the second notification panel or do a two finger swipe you will go to directly that's the time date you can adjust from here okay and this settings the settings if you go to this is just uh, typical stuff oops I know my hand is going today okay click on settings and you get the typical stuff date time accessibility go to about phone you get the hardware information what Android version it is, what's the newest developer? Then you can okay, then you can see now a developer option will come. It's hidden, I don't know, Android 4.2.1. You can make the changes necessary over here. You can add your account, you get apps, battery, display. Click over here, you get the new feature called Ray Dreams. You can choose any of this feature. Start now. And this is how your screen saver will appear. And let me see if anything else has been changed. No change at all. This is how stock will up stock under 4.1.2 will appear. Here's the Google Play Music icon, which looks and yeah, this is one thing I hate about this ROM. It always comes, I don't know why, with the under 1.6 music player type of interface. Really, really bad looking. And this gives you lesser actually if you check on one case, this gives you lesser Google apps. No Google Plus, no Google Maps, nothing. You have to download the rest. Anyhow, it's a pretty stable ROM. I didn't find any post crashes on this. Um, hats up to the developer for it. Brilliant ROM. So keep up the good work. Those people who like just simple ROM, which is around 250-300 MB, should go for this ROM. That's just about it. Bye bye.